It's time now for Voices of the Region. It's an opportunity to learn about stories being covered by area journalists. This week our guest is Danielle Kading with Wisconsin Public Radio. For more than 120 years, a paper mill has operated near the Flambeau River in northern Wisconsin um, in the city of Park Falls. And now that it's closed, the city is trying to redefine itself as the site's new owner has been leasing the space to a crypto mining operation. Uh, Park Falls Mayor Michael Boblick says the city has always had a mill since the late 1890s. And that is until the mill shut down last year and that put around 100 people in the city out of work and they already have four containers up and running at that mill site that hold computers that essentially use energy to mine bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies and this type of mining relies on a global network of computers to verify online transactions and create new digital currency like bitcoin and the Chinese company said they spent around $27 million on a Wisconsin supercomputer center last year to build up its hosting service in North America because uh, the Chinese government had banned certain types of cryptocurrency mining. So they're shifting it to North America. And the company is currently looking to grow its operation at the former mill site in Park Falls. And the site's owner says that they hope to lease space there to other businesses um, as well. A federal judge ruled uh, that Canadian energy firm Enbridge trespassed on lands owned by the Bad River tribe and profited at the tribe's expense. But the federal judge stopped short of shutting down the company's oil and gas pipeline running across the Bad River Reservation. Um, the tribe had sued Enbridge in 2019 to shut down and remove Line 5 from tribal lands over the threat of a spill. And despite the company's trespass on tribal lands, federal judge William Conley ruled the pipeline may continue to operate because a shutdown would affect the regional economy, energy supplies, and trade with Canada. Uh, Bad River Tribal Chairman Mike Wiggins Jr. says the ruling recognized the tribe's treaty rights. It's a step forward. He said it made clear that Enbridge isn't above the law. Um, Enbridge, for its part, through a spokesperson, says the ruling upholds the importance of Line 5 and recognizes that its proposal to reroute the pipeline should move forward in a timely manner. But Bad Rivers Chairman Mike Wiggins says the current proposal is problematic because it runs through sensitive areas that could impact the, the tribe's water resources. And Enbridge, for its part, says the pipeline is a vital energy link to the region, and its experts have argued that thousands of jobs and billions in economic output could be lost in the upper Midwest due to a shutdown of Line 5. But the tribe's experts dispute that and say the company is vastly overestimating the impacts of a shutdown. The Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources is using goats to control invasive plants for the first time on the Brule River State Forest. The agency is partnering on this $7,500 project with Jake Raina Williams and his wife Bridget in Poplar. And they own regenerative ruminants, and they've been bringing in a herd of roughly 35 goats to graze on um, buckthorn across roughly five acres of the forest this year. And the DNR's forest manager, Dan Kephart, says they've had a problem with buckthorn for a long time. This woody invasive shrub can crowd out other native trees to the forest, like white pine and ash and balsam. And in the past, the DNR has used herbicides and mowing to control the invasive plant. But this year is the first time they've used goats and uh, they're pretty good at eating everything within reach according to their owners. And so the DNR will bring back the goats again in the spring and then they'll evaluate the site over time to determine whether it's the most effective method for reducing invasive species there. Mm -hmm. 